Hey everyone, getting the book cover size right was a bit of a challenge for me in my earlier days. And as a KDP beginner, this has been a topic that for which I have seen most of the time that I had to struggle a lot. And if you're following me on my channel, Passive Income Journey, you might have seen one of my video about book cover trick. If you search over here, you can easily find that video. So in that video, I talked about a very simple trick that I used to follow till date in order to get my KDP book cover size always 100% right. But that way, uh, the one that I have shared in that video is something a bit of uh, a longer way. And uh, in my journey of KDP, I have learned a new way and that is going to be the easiest way in order to get the book cover size right for any of the KDP book. And that is something that I'm going to share in this video. So make sure that you watch the video till the end and I'll see you on the other side of the video. All right, so we're going to talk about the easiest way to get the book cover size right. And for that, I have recently learned about the KDP book cover size calculator, which KDP itself has provided. So let's search for that KDP cover size calculator. And here we go, let's search for that. And we can see over here, this is the calculator that KDP has provided on its website. So this is basically the place where we have to provide our book information. So we can select hardcover or paperback. So hardcover is a new category that you might have seen recently if you are a KDP publisher. So I, I have explored a bit about hardcover, but I have a completely different opinion about hardcover. So that is something that I'll talk about it in a different video. But at this moment, I'm focusing on paperback books only. So we can select the paperback, then what is going to be the interior type? So generally I use black and white. Uh, we can select any other options as well. And then paper type is white paper. And then page 10 would be left to right. Then the measurement units, this is going to be our book size. So you might be aware that we have to select the trim size whenever we are uploading a book. So whatever the size that we select, so that is the same size we, we can put it over here in order to find out the book. So here, these are the default options. We can even put the custom trim size as well. Let's take a look for 8.5 by 11 inches book, what is going to be the size? So let's uh, take a look for 100 page count, okay. And we have to click on calculate dimensions. So it shows this image over here and there are a lot many details those have been given, but you need not to worry about that. We just have to focus on this, the very first element that it is showing width 17.475 and height 11.25. All of these options, yes, those are important, but in order to get your book cover size, you need not to worry about all this to begin with. You can consider this one. And let's now go to Canva and I'll tell you one trick how to get your book cover completely right along with this information. Okay, so 17.475. So I'm clicking on create design, custom size. I'll select inches and the size that we got was 17475, 17.475, then 11.25. Okay, so it will open the empty design and we can create our book cover over here. Now, you might have seen while uploading KDP book that you have to provide bleed setting. There is going to be no bleed or bleed. Okay, so here is the trick what you need to consider when you are creating your book cover in Canva. So here you can see that there is a detail given for bleed, then margin, then spine and everything, okay? But the simplest trick that I'm going to tell you over here is that whenever you don't have your book and you don't want to select that bleed option, so make sure that whenever you are designing your book cover, 
you have marked this show print bleed option as off okay and then you have downloaded your book cover once it is ready so whenever you are downloading it make sure that you have this show print bleed option is disabled okay so it will get you the right size cover and amazon also will not complain about the book cover and you get it all right so you have to download it now the next thing is say for example the book interior that you have created that is something you want to select the bleed option so whenever you are creating a bleed option so at the time what you need to do in order to get your book cover you just have to focus on only point number one and with those dimension you have to Sit, uh, create your book cover but now in order to get it right for with bleed option what you need to do is that you need to click on show print bleed and when you are downloading this pdf for your book cover you need to make sure that you have downloaded it by keeping this show print bleed option enabled and then you should download it so once you download this and once you have selected this bleed pdf only and you upload your cover so amazon will not complain about that and it will ensure that your book cover has been absolutely right you also need to make sure that uh, the interior that you had so for your interior as well you had to uh, make it bleed so for interior as well you have to follow the same trick Create the interior with 8.5 by 11 inches size, but when you are downloading it, you have to make sure that you have enabled this show print blade option. So yes, this was the easiest way to get your book cover absolutely right, 100% right. And in case you are also interested to know about what is the longest way or a kind of a bit of a longer way, and that too ensures that you get your book cover always right. So make sure that you check out this video if you haven't already done. So it is good to have this knowledge about uh, book cover. So it will help you to make your book cover fast and uh, get your books ready very fast. So yes, this is it. This is what I wanted to share in this video. I hope you would have liked this video. And in case if you are new to this channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button i really appreciate that and also hit the bell notification so that you'll be notified about any new videos that i'll be uploading and there are going to be interesting videos coming on this channel so i hope you will like those video and uh, with that said i would like to conclude this video over here thank you very much for watching this video thank you very much for your time